How did you end up on this trip? Because uh, I don't know how to say no, and I'm a complete and utter prostitute for science. <laughs> Why do you think we invited you on this trip? Because from what I understand of what you do, you're a sort of globe-trotting bunch of privileged but talented um, skiers who probably got a bit of a guilty conscience. Alan coming on this trip, you know, he's a, a scientist. He's completely in it for the exact same reasons that we are. Just that pure love of being out in the mountains. I used to dream of this kind of trip. So for me, it works brilliantly. What I've got to do is try and seek legitimacy with my colleagues. We just got a first view of Mount Foro back here. It's really hard to say if we're gonna be bringing our skis up there. And talking with Alan about that possibility that it might significantly change in the next few years is a, a pretty crazy thought. It's hot. It's very hot. Personally, I think we hit a warm spell and that's what it is. It's a heat wave. I mean, I think that'd be fairly short-sighted to go somewhere for a week and, you know, we all get abnormal temperatures. You can't keep breaking records like this. In the bigger picture, it's very bad news for the Greenland ice sheet. Um, how are we meant to take you seriously when you look like that? <laughs> <laughs> seriously? Who said anything about taking me seriously? I got faith in Alan. I got faith in science. Ow! Yeah, we have a crevasse issue in our entrance. So we're gonna move this tent from this crevasse and put it over here above this crevasse. If these temperatures continue, we're gonna be fairly trapped here, I've got a feeling. Our little mission to get up onto the ice cap and recover these ice cores, that's gonna have to happen pretty fast.